There is uh, no denying that the mainstream media, more often than not, puts a liberal slant on its news reporting. But now one UCLA professor who's spent uh, years studying the media says that he has scientific proof that liberal media buy exists and that this bias actually makes Americans more liberal. Joining me now to uh, explain uh, is the author of this new book, Left Turn, How Liberal Media Bias Distorts the American Mind, Professor at UCLA, Tim Grossclose. Professor, thank you Senator for being Johnson. with us today. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Great very, to be here. Very interesting book. You know, when someone tells me that uh, they have uh, uh, come up with the notion that uh, the, the media is, uh, is biased, uh, you know, I, I want to say, what's your first clue? But you've actually come up with scientific methodology that uh, you say proves that. What have you done right. and what have you concluded? Well, as you said, yeah, I have gathered lots and lots of data, 20,000 observations. I have coded the content of the media, translated it into data. And uh, this is based on an uh, earlier article that I wrote with a co-author, Jeff Milo of uh, University of Missouri. This article was published in a, a peer-reviewed journal. So this is a scientific approach using data and statistical analysis to say exactly, quantitatively, what, what is the, the slant of the media and what is its bias. Well, uh, what was your, uh, briefly, your, your methodology? How could, you, how could you take a media, take a media organization and determine uh, the extent of its media bias? Well, the first thing I should say, it starts off with the notion of a political quotient. This is a, a, a method I've devised to, to measure political views in a precise and quantitative way. On this scale, uh, Nancy Pelosi is about 100. Uh, Michelle Bachman's about a zero. Uh, it turns out I have every member of Congress on this scale. Oh, really? uh, Senator Fred Thompson is an 11.2. John ah. Kasich's a 14, by the way. Hey, and, uh, perfectly centrist. I always knew he was a liberal. Hey, <laughs> I, want re I want to recount. I, de I demand a zero, okay? <laughs> That's uh, <laughs> All right, go, go uh, well, ahead. Take, it's on, uh, to it, if anyone wants to take my, my test, it's on my website, timgrossclose.com. I'd encourage you, Senator Thompson, <laughs> maybe you've, you've become more conservative. Uh, by the way, on, on this scale, uh, I've estimated that the average American voter is a 50. So from this, I next try to estimate the slant quotient of different media outlets. And, and here's an example of what I've done. The New York Times gets a slant quotient of a 74 by my method, uh, and now it happens that Joe Lieberman has a political quotient of a 74 also. So by my method, that means that the New York Times sounds about as liberal as the average Joe Lieberman speech. And so to give you more details about that, with this one method, I have three methods, but one looked at think tank citations. So I looked at which think tanks the New York Times cited, you know, so left you wing, right wing, these... centrist. You looked at all that. I wish we had a lot more time, but you looked at all these methods, looked at the think, think tanks that uh, they use, that you looked at the key words that they use, and you made this that determination and put, yes. put, the, put the score on. What, what, what is the effect of, of this? I, 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 I um, certainly would agree with your conclusions, but do they have an effect on the American people? Great, great question. Thank you for asking it. This is how my book differs from a lot of other media bias books. I measure the effect. And I look at different academic studies that have done something like an experiment to test the effect of the media. In a nutshell, the effect is that America currently thinks and votes about like a purple state, Iowa or Nevada. But if you could magically eliminate media bias, according to my estimates, America would think and vote about like a solid red state, something like Texas, something like Tennessee, something like Kentucky. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, uh, you're, you're, um, you're scientifically proving uh, what uh, a lot of us uh, have, have been frustrated. We know it, but we can't prove it. Maybe that you, you, so. you've, yes. you've, you've, you've helped us out in uh, a lot of debates in the future. Thank you. Uh, thank well, you thank very you. much. Appreciate your, uh, your checking in with us.